This was my traditional cover three that I've been running for years and a lot of success and I love it and I'm not abandoning it. But it's a pretty much traditional cover three. If you didn't get the original DVDs, we were a spot dropping team. So this, this backer was dropping at roughly 10 yards from the line of scrimmage, a yard on top of the numbers. They dropped at 12, a yard inside the hash, 12, a yard inside the hash, 10 on top of the numbers. And the nice thing that we, that we did, and another good concept I got from my good buddy Tim Murphy is basically, and the math doesn't always work perfectly, but I think to our kids, think of yourself in a 10 by 10 box. So if I get in the middle, I only have to guard five yards this way, five yards this way, five yards in front of me, and five yards in back. And my preference would be is that they, and towards the back of their zone, and they play the back of their zone with their body. In other words, anybody who's in the back of their zone, they should be manned up on them and play the front of the zone with their eyes. So if they flood the zone, and I have a wide receiver here and a wide receiver here, shallow flat, deep flat, I'm going to get back here and play the deep flat and rally to the flat up, 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 up in front of me. So play the back of your zone physically, physically, and play the front of your zone with your eyes. So everybody has a, a 10 by 10 box they have to, have, to, have to guard. This is our no cover zone. We don't guard anything under five yards. We don't cover anything on the sideline from the numbers over. That's a seven yard strip. No cover zone, seven yard strip. And this is a hard area to cover. That's where the revolver falcon comes in. It's hard to get a whole player right there. So that's our kill zone. That's a kill shot. If a catch catches that ball there, we're expecting both backers to hit him from the side and the safety to come up so that he'll think twice about catching it again. So that's what we've been doing. That's our base cover three. I'm not talking about in this video. I'm going to tell you how we took this coverage and put our robber concept into it.